What's up, guys? Face. We are, well, we're on our way to First State Drift, my second drift event with the 3000, but I have to make a pit stop real quick in South Philly at the dentist. So I'm gonna stop at the dentist real quick and get my teeth cleaned and then head down to the track. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. All right guys, what's up? We are out here on grid. We did the morning session to try and fill out the car. The only change I made was I lowered the front tire pressure down a little bit. Um, I was able to link the, most of the track by the end of the first session. Going out now, I haven't been doing so good. So I gotta like get a feel for it again, especially with the change up on the front tire. So hopefully soon we can pick back up with where we left off after the uh, first session and get back into it. The handbrake works really good. The angle definitely helps. I do need the knuckles, but we'll see how the day goes.
right, so we just got home finally. It was a very long day. Uh, we ended up stopping for dinner on the way home. Um, now we're gonna go out for Kenrick's birthday and do all that stuff. The car handled everything I threw at it this weekend or today pretty darn well. I can't be mad at that. I mean, the car itself was on point. Um, there was one point where I was doing back to back to back hot laps and I got like three hot laps in and I saw temps at like 206 where like normal temp is like 180, 190. Um, and you know, quick loop around the parking lot, it cooled back down and we got back out there. Um, we only went through like one and a half sets of tires, which isn't that bad at all. I gained a lot of confidence with pulling the handbrake, entering fast, and I realized that the faster I entered and then pulled the handbrake, uh, the better that my run was. Towards the end of the day, the last like session that I went out, me and Coil, Coil was riding with me, um, that's all we were doing. It was first gear, let it hit limiter for like, because the first gear, every time I would leave the line, it would just start spinning. So I'd hit limiter for a sec, shift in a second, and I would literally just floor it in second, and then pretty much go as fast as I can, and then rip the handbrake and start drifting. Uh, there were a lot of spin outs through the day, but I was adjusting tire pressures a lot and trying to figure out the best grip setup. Um, it turns out, I thought I needed more grip in the front of the car. I actually needed more grip in the rear of the car. So we started out with 45, no, I'm sorry. We started out with 35 PSI in the front tires and 60 PSI in the rear. I dropped the front tires down to 25 and did a couple runs and it felt like crap. The sidewalls were actually rolling over on themselves and I was wearing the sidewall. So I bumped them back up to where they were originally and I dropped the rears down from 60 to 45 and that was like the sweet spot. I'm sure if I did more, I would be able to, like if I kept dropping the pressures more and more, um, it would probably make it easier for me till I found that limit of where like I had too much grip for how much power I have. The car has plenty of power to do it um, and we're just gonna keep learning and adjusting it and we're gonna be doing the modded knuckles soon to get more steering angle because that was the biggest issue I ran in today. I had still don't have a lot of angle and when as soon as the car would hit full lock it was done it was a waste pointless so steph got to ride with me today so that was cool um but on that note like the video subscribe to the channel like i said this season there's going to be more drifting content with the 3000 and we'll see you guys next time